today's video, what I wanted to go over is five settings that you definitely should adjust within your Google TV, especially if you're a new user. Now, this is going to work for any device that has a Google TV interface. So we're talking about the Chromecast with Google TV, the new on 4K Streaming Pro, even your Sony Google TV device. So we're going to jump right into it. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Let's go. I know a lot of you guys probably went out, grab the on 4K streaming pro, um, grab your, your new Google TV 4K streamer. So definitely check this video out. Watch it in its entirety. The last setting is going to completely change how you interact with your device. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first setting is going to be concerning your Wi-Fi. So in order to get to that, I'm going to go to our settings in the top right and we're going to click on settings there. We're going to go to our privacy click on that and we're going to go ahead and click on location now this setting is the location status now to the right it shows the location status and it says it uses your wi-fi to estimate your location now on a smartphone or mobile device i can see this being somewhat helpful uh, maybe you're looking to navigate or get to a certain point or estimate a distance but on a streaming device personally i don't see the need for it so under the explanation it says it uses wi-fi to estimate location so google may collect location data periodically and use the data in an anonymous anonymous way to improve location accuracy and location-based services so again maybe it's me being paranoid i know a lot of you folks probably think the same way i do um, the word anonymous thrown in there plus the fact that this is a stationary device i'm going to turn this off but let me know your thoughts in the comment section uh, is this a setting that you think you should leave on or turn off all right so the very next setting is going to be in the same area and this is going to be under your privacy settings so i'm going to go to my settings I'm going to click on it. I'm going to go down to privacy, click on privacy, and we're going to go down to ads. Click on it. And I know this has something similar on the Amazon Fire TV devices. Uh, each device is going to have an advertisement ID. And the advertisement ID is a unique identifier that allows developers and marketers to track your activity for advertising purposes. What this is, guys, it collects information on you via this ID. Then it knows to push ads to you that's tailored to whatever you're looking for. So if you ever wondered why you're on your computer and you search for a laptop, then you go over to your phone and you see ads for a laptop. This is where the tracking ID can come into play. I find those annoying, but luckily within this interface, there's a couple settings to delete it or you can reset it just to kind of start from fresh and stop the tracking. So if I scroll up, you can see there is a, a enable debug option for ads. So instruct apps to write as debugging information. I'm going to leave that off. However, when you go up more, you have two settings that can really help with those ads. So one is to reset advertisement ID. So this generates a new advertisement ID that apps can use from now on. The other one is to delete advertisement ID and this can no longer use advertisement ID to show you personalized ads. So for this one, I'm going to go ahead and delete it. All right. You see at the bottom, it says it's deleted. Now I don't have an advertisement ID, but if you change your mind, you can always go back in and get a new advertisement ID. Again, one of those settings that is going to just keep Google from tracking you more than it already is. So the next setting is going to be another privacy setting. So for this, we're going to go to our settings, click on it, we're going to go down to privacy again, click on that, and we're going to go down to security, click on that. And for me, this is more of an annoyance than anything. Uh, for me, I do have quite a bit third party applications. And from time to time, what Google will do on these devices, it happens on my Vindia Shield, it happens on my other Google TV devices, it will scan your device. And when it finds an app that didn't come from the Google Play Store, it will label the app as harmful or just keep reminding you that this app 
probably should be deleted. So for me, I'm going to turn this off just because I know I install a lot of third party applications. It's more of an annoyance than anything. Um, there's also another one where it sends it to Google. That's also off. But let me know what you guys think. Do you get those pop ups for your third party apps? I know I do. And that's why I choose to turn this setting off all right so enough with the privacy security let's jump into something that's a little bit more fun and like i said the last setting is going to completely change the way you interact with your google tv so the first thing we're going to do is you can see on my home page there's so many recommendations and most of these i don't even use guys i'm still scrolling still scrolling <laughs> still scrolling um and there's a way to essentially clean this up so what we're going to do is go all the way to the bottom And you see there's an option to manage services click on that and how this works guys this is where you can turn off what apps are shown on that home screen what recommendations for apps are shown on that home screen so you can see i have prime videos i have apple tv so for me i know i don't have apple tv so i'm gonna turn that off i have a bunch of options down here all right i also have haystack news do i want that on let's say we want to keep that one we got Plex, Pluto TV with recommendations. All right, so I'm gonna leave those on. We also have Red Bull TV, probably turn that one off. We have Roku channel, Tubi, Zumo Play, turn that off, leave YouTube on. And now when I go back home, I should have a lot less of those um, recommendations. So let's go through it now. All right, so it does take a time for it to just kind of refresh everything. Well, now you can see a couple pages there, not as bad as it was before. But again, I can always go in and um, and remove it. I think a lot of these are from Plex, but I can always go in and adjust it even more. So that's one of those settings that I find useful just if you want to fine tune. However, this last setting completely changes the way your interface looks and it just makes it minimal. A lot of people love it. Let me know your thoughts. All right, so this one is going to be apps only mode and essentially what this is going to do is going to remove all the recommendations, remove all the fluff and just give you the favorite applications that you want to interact with. For me, it does remind me of the Apple TV where it's just the apps that you use and maybe a little area up top. But let me know what you guys think. All right. So in order to get to this, we're going to go over to our settings. We're going to click on that. We're going to go down to our accounts and sign in. Click on that. Go over again and we're going to go down and you should see this apps only mode. Turn that on. All right. It's going to give you a warning. All right. Search Google Assistant will be disabled. You can access all apps installing the device. Um, apps can continue to show personalized recommendations and track history. YouTube TV privacy settings are not affected. All right. So it kind of gives you a little warning. Go ahead and turn it on. And now when I go back home, it will go ahead and refresh the home page. But now you can see that all I have, guys, is my applications, which a lot of people like. Like I said, um, you still have this little nice back. You still have a nice background in the in the top area recommendations, YouTube, whatever the case is. But if I also wanted to, let's say, remove something, let's say I wanted to remove Red Bull TV. I just do a long press, view details. And then I can go in and uninstall that application, All right? So again, nice and easy, fluid, no fluff, just really the apps that you use. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Like I said, those five recommended settings to adjust, play with, um, just to be aware of for your Google TV device. If you have any questions, drop in the comments. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.